I had the Lord tell me something coming up here this time, and I, I don't feel a need anytime I go somewhere to preach to, to on purpose have a prophecy for someone or something. It turns out that way because we've got the Word and we stand on the Word. Yes. Uh, but as it turns out, that the Lord many times does have something to say, yeah. you know. I, I had the Lord tell me something about the PTL network as I was coming up this time, and I almost talked about it with Mondo when we were out to lunch on Saturday. He told me this unusual thing and gave me the weekend to study it out. He said that there is a Malachi anointing hmm. on the PTL network. And I said, now, Lord, what does that mean to have a Malachi yeah. anointing? So I went and I did a bit of research and a little bit of study. Now, think about this. In the time of Malachi, the book Malachi, the last book of the Bible, uh, New Old Testament, the temple had been kind of restored. The people had kind of returned to Jerusalem. But they were not, so in other words, they were almost at peacetime. The church was, the, the believers were. But they were not hot for God. They were, the priest and the people had access to the things of God and showed an outward expression of interest mm -hmm. in the things of God, but internally, they were cold. Mm -hmm. And God had this Malachi, who, depending on who you're reading and studying after, could be a composite figure or a, or a lone voice. We don't know much about Malachi. Yeah. But Malachi rose up, and in his message to the people to stir up the believers of his day, What's unusual about the book of Malachi is that Malachi has in all of the Old Testament, 80-something percent of the book of Malachi is the direct words of God. Mm -hmm. In other words, it has the most God speak, so to, word, so to speak, direct wow. words from God. Now, that's no coincidence because it's the last book of the Old Testament before the closing to the New Testament. Mm -hmm. So, so in, we could say that in the end times, you're going to hear him speak a lot, God is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going we're to have an abundance of the voice of God. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and Malachi, he would, he would bring what God wanted to say, and he would dialogue with the people. Yes. In other words, he would say something, the people would say, no, that isn't true. We, we do love God. And he would say, no, you don't. And, <laughs> and there would be that dialogue. That's what this show is. It's a dialogue with the world. Look at how you all yeah. presented the news. You're, you're having a dialogue. Here's what's happening. Here's what, here's what we're saying. Here's what's happening. Here's what we're saying. You're having a dialogue with the world. There is a Malachi anointing because a, in, the, in the times that you and I live in, there is a closing of the age. Yeah. <laughs> and at the closing of the age, by the mercies of God, he speaks in abundance to call all that have ears to come in yeah. before the age closes. Right. Do you know that the last word Good. in the book of Malachi is the word curse? That's mm. actually how the Old Testament closes. Mm -hmm. It talks about the great and terrible day of the, of the coming right. of the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there is a great and terrible day of the coming of the Lord. It won't be, it won't be, it won't be terrible for us because we're the church. Mm -hmm. But we'll be involved in that. It will be a terrible day. For the world. Yeah. And that's why God in His mercy speaks and cries out. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a Malachi anointing on the PTL network, the voice of the prophets, because it is a last calling before the curtain closes, wow. before the great and, great and terrible day. The Jews in the synagogue, when they're reading through the Torah, in the book, when they, when they get to the book of Malachi, and they read the last verse curse, they will not end the ser their message with that last word. They'll go backwards and read another verse so that they don't end the service with the word curse. Mm. <laughs> but think about it. That's actually how the Old Testament ends with the word curse. Yeah, it is. And the Malachi anointing gathers. It's a composite gathering of prophetic voices. Now, here's why it's important what Mondo was just talking about. All through the Old Testament, we are told not to test God. Not, not, to, not, to, not to question him, except in the book of Malachi. Okay. He says, prove me now, Malachi 3, prove me now in this. Yeah. Mm. Bring the tithe and the offering into the storehouse that the word can be preached. Mm -hmm. Now, why was he saying that? Because the people's heart had gone cold, and because their heart had gone cold, their actions had gone cold. Mm. Mm. Because your actions follow your heart. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about supporting the PTL network, the voice of the prophets, it isn't just about giving an offering. It isn't just about helping a good work. It's about showing and, and allowing for the, the, the fire on the inside to be, to be tangibly brought out in a way yeah. that this message can be preached all across the earth. Amen.